One time I woke up and I found out my cousin was murdered. My mom was freaking out and crying. It was like, I was like seven years old, eight years old. First time I ever heard of somebody I know getting murdered. This guy pretty much beat my cousin with a hammer and killed her. My mom and the rest of my family hated this guy so bad. And I understand him because, you know, he took our cousin, my cousin away and her niece away and daughter away. The funeral was like so dramatic. I haven't seen so many people cry <laughs> like ever at that age. It was, I kept noticing is all the hate and all the anger that was just flowing around. All I could think about is what was going on in that man's head to do that? How did this man grow the fuck up? Like, who raised this motherfucker? You can just get, go crazy and then break down the door of jealousy and rage and murder the mother of your child. The other thing I noticed the most is that when somebody does some, something that makes you so angry, for instance, when they murder somebody you love, the anger passes on to you. Now you're angry. Now they're on death row thinking about what they did, regretting it, thinking like, what the fuck was I thinking? People who come back to their senses think that some people who still mind is fucked up, otherwise they just say, yeah, I was justified. Crazy motherfuckers. But we'll get back to that point. This is actually about the death penalty. You clicked on it. You wanted to hear about the death penalty. I personally don't agree with it, as you may have known. Wait, 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 wait. Don't click off. Don't click off. Hear me out with an open mind, with an open mind. I'm not here to change your mind. I'm just here to start a debate, a discussion, but with these facts also. Some people may say the reason why the death penalty needs to be had is because in white terms, they don't deserve three hots and a cop. They don't deserve a place to sleep or eat, which I understand. I get you. I'm not mocking you guys. I'm just saying, you're basically saying they don't deserve to sleep somewhere after you just took somebody's life. I understand. I understand that completely. Trust me, that food is punishing. The bed, you might as well be sleeping on a hardwood floor. Pretty much torture is what I'm saying. I've been in prison, but I've been in jail. I know everything is uncomfortable there. Shoes suck. You stand up too long, your feet hurt. Sit down too long on those hard ass chairs, your ass hurt. In the bed, you can't get comfortable as a hard ass bed. Another thing y'all want the death penalty because y'all don't want them to be living at all. I understand, I get it. But what is death going to do? Is it really justice? Are you going to be really happier? Like, no, don't try to debate my question right here. Are you going to be happy that they're dead? What would that fix? Isn't the fact that they're in prison living a horrible life? And we have to live with yourself, punish. Shouldn't that be punishment? Now, of course, in your head, no. Well, because if you're religious, you believe in hell then, right? You want them to die because you're sure they're going to hell. So you've been told. Have you been to this so-called hell? I'm not debating if there's a hell or a heaven or whatever. I'm just saying. Say instead, when we died, we were born into a new body. Our soul is just re reincarnated. Now you think they went to hell, but they actually was just born yesterday now. What's going on a whole of them right now? But I'm just saying, what if leaving them alive with their selves and their thoughts was punishment that God intended it for? But your hate made the punishment last not long at all. Hence the reason why he says, thou shall not kill. Leave it up with God. If you are religious and believe in this, oh, let him go to hell, then you must believe in Jesus. Would Jesus agree with the death penalty too? Hmm. Or do you just want to pick and choose of what you believe today? Another one, our taxpayers' money is keeping this man alive. Right. Because it paid for the food and for them a place to stay and shower and stuff. Yeah, you're right. We are paying for them to live. It also costs 18 times more to keep somebody on death row and kill them than to keep them in life in prison. Did you know that? You didn't know that, did you? Other thing, people think it's safer to have a death penalty. People are always going to kill people with death penalty or not. 
New York and Mexico, Connecticut, and Illinois all got rid of the death penalty. Their crime rate went down. Besides Chicago. It does not heal at all. It won't make you, if anything, it'll make you feel worse. Not because they died, but it didn't solve anything. It didn't help you. It didn't heal you. You never, you, you didn't like recover. It's like, oh, he's dead. Since the 1970s, 161 people have been found innocent on death row. And most of them did not get free. I'm not defending people who committed murders at all. I know some of y'all may think that. No, I'm not. I'm trying to tell you guys, don't let the anger consume you too at all. Something happens to affect your emotions and how you feel. You want somebody to die. You would never try to kill somebody or wish death upon nobody until you get angry. Now look at you. You want somebody to die. Kill him! Kill him now! When was the last time you done something horrible that you regretted doing? And you think back every once in a while like, what the fuck was I thinking? But what were you thinking? When you did that thing that you're thinking right now that, you, that was very horrible, what were you thinking? What was the thought process to make you do it? What made you think that it was the right thing to do at the time? No. Have the thoughts that these people had. The guy who shot all those people in Vegas. The guy who shot all the people in church. The, the, the people who were in Chicago that's just going around shooting people and killing them and murdering. They're lost. Would you want to trade your thoughts with their thoughts? That's why instead of being angry with somebody, you pray for them. Thank you. He would do recover. So look at Stanley Tookie Williams. He changed once he got in prison. Still got the death penalty though. The point is for that is, why don't you just let them sit there as long as they can? And maybe if they don't get the death penalty, they can start, they can start, to, they can help people who are going through the same thing that they're going through. Who are fighting the same demons that they're fighting, and tell them how to how to defeat these demons. But instead, you get angry and you kill them. Instead of let, they could be the source to the problems of all the evil in this world. Do you understand this? They could be the source to fix the problems of, the, of life. Once they're in prison, they sit there for a long amount of time and they can tell everybody else that's going through the same, that's doing the same thoughts that they're thinking, listen, I know what's going on in your head. Understand it's evil, it's wrong. Get out of it. But instead, we kill them. No matter what, if you agree with me or not, subscribe to my channel right now. And then, trust me, you'll hear a lot of more dumb or interesting words of wisdom from Stephen Mouse. Thank you.